Georgia State versus Memphis. Looking at SBR odds right now, it looks like 26 or 26 and a half across the board. It's a big number here, Kelly. Um, do you have any opinion on this early uh, Sun Belt versus AAC matchup? You know, initially I'm looking at this one going, I probably want no part of it. What What does the public remember last, right? These are things that we talk about. Georgia State, off to a good start, scored a touchdown, and then got absolutely routed by NC State, lost 40 one to seven and there's memphis who was a touchdown favorite that lost at navy both of these teams are kind of um lackluster i guess i should say for lack of a better word and and i look at it and i go eh, i don't love this however georgia state is 11 and 4 against the spread as a road dog in the last four seasons maybe they can uh muster together a little bit more offense than they did the previous week and keep it close enough to where it makes an exciting game yeah, this is a it's an interesting number here at 26 and a half, almost four touchdowns to the better team for sure. But are they really four touchdowns better? It's a tough one. Big man, you have any opinion? Yeah, look, with Riley Ferguson or someone like that. Yeah, I, I would probably lay the points here. But uh, the problem is they're not there anymore. Uh, Blake, uh, Blake. Um, What's his name? Blake uh, Brady Miller, whatever. It's the kid at Arizona State. He's there now. Uh, you look at last week, weren't really able to move the ball. I got to give a little back to Memphis because the weather wasn't great. I'm actually, I think Georgia State's a better team than maybe this number's leading on. Uh, they have a dual threat quarterback. Now that uh, they have uh, a new offensive coordinator looking to be a little bit more spread oriented, go a little bit more up tempo, get the passing game going. They have one of the better receivers no one knows about. Drew, I know you know Penny Hart. Penny uh, Hart. He's a good player, but. Yeah, he was a good player. And, and Dan Ellington, the quarterback, can move the ball. But, look, I'm always skeptical to lay, you know, take points with a team like Georgia State. You look at last week. I mean, they were absolutely punted. As Kelly said, you know, you go out to a 7-0 lead and then they can't do anything the rest of the game. Uh, I just expect Memphis to just be much more better athletically, much stronger, more physical. Um, I think a lot of people will think this game will be affected by Hurricane, but I, I wouldn't think. I mean, Memphis is pretty far away from uh, where this will be. So uh, I, I'm going to look towards – probably laying the points but one that i'll probably avoid as well i don't have a big opinion on this game this is kind of a big number and drew you make a good point are these teams really almost four touchdowns different maybe with past quarterbacks but not necessarily this one. yeah i kind of disagree with this move because what it opened up 22 and a half now 26 and a half and i don't know i like like we've all kind of touched on four touchdowns better I, i'm not really sure the quarterback play for memphis wasn't really there i lost on that you're wearing the navy shirt it's kind of uh it, i lost on that game big man did you bet it uh no i did not bet on it uh the weather kind of turned me away drew i mean there was a lot of weather issues with a lot of games uh, generally a game like that's going to benefit the naval academy we we've talked about that kind of stuff yeah. you and i in the past uh and look memphis is a team that i kind of you know they're, they're in a you know they have a new quarterback like i said I, I think it's kind of an off year for them so no i i didn't i didn't bet that game kelly were you involved at all in the navy memphis game you know what there's a lot of things that people don't realize about me and i tried to really hone in on certain conferences and that uh -huh. navy team I had i did not bet them against hawaii but i had a completely wrong read i thought that they would be able to go to hawaii and at least not cover, but win that game. And then to turn around and just kind of come out flat. I was like, you know what? I don't really have a very good read on this team. So I'm just going to stay away until I, uh, you know, find a spot where they're better to bet. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. And, and also one handicapping angle I kind of bring in from time to time is the week after a team plays a triple option team where they're always, you know, diving at the legs all week. I kind of look to fade them. So this might be an opportunity to kind of fade memphis because they were having to deal with the chop blocks all week do you guys bring that into account at all big man sorry. I have a lot of things you can you can bring go ahead Kelly. sorry big man uh, sorry <laughs> good go ahead, no, go ahead Kelly. Say, that's my there's fault. a lot of things you can bring into account situationally when it comes to teams playing a very physical team who they have on deck next um there's always there's always handicapping styles Situational is one of my favorite things, but yeah, absolutely. When you come off a big physical game, you can look to fade a team the following week. Maybe they're just a little bit more banged up than they normally would have been. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Big man, do you have anything on that handicapping angle? Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's it's actually a pretty good point. It's one you don't really think about a whole lot. Plus, you're, you're dealing with a whole different offense this week. But I mean, I'm not really, I'm looking more or less at Memphis laying points. I mean, 
Uh, one of the chat uh, people are mentioning that. I mean, I'm not running to the window. Last year, Memphis, particularly early in the year, struggled with big numbers. You remember that game against Yo Monroe? They actually just played Georgia State last year. Didn't even get played because of another hurricane. So, um, I, for whatever reason, I'm more a fan of Memphis in conference as opposed to out of conference. I think for whatever reason, they're particularly overvalued. This is a number, Drew, again, I would lay with a Paxton Lynch or Riley Ferguson, not Brady White. Sorry. Yeah, he just hasn't shown us yet that he can that he can do it no. in this offense. So I, I'm with you Correct. as well. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos. So please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left. Uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.